But you see, people, they, they often will come at you with this argument that says, well, if God's real and if Jesus is real and if the Bible's real, they'll say, why is there so much pain and suffering in the world? Why are there so many horrible things in the world? I just can't believe that there's a God if there's all these bad things that are allowed to happen. You've heard that before. Yeah. But the answer to that question is that God allows that to be there because he wants us to seek after him and choose that which is right. And you say, well, you know, I mean, what? Come on. All these, there's all these different religions. I mean, there's all these different denominations. I mean, you know, which one's right? I mean, you expect me to figure out which one's right. But here's the thing. Jesus says, seek and you shall find. It might seem like it's so hard to figure out. I mean, you got the Baptists and the Methodists and the Presbyterians. You got the Mormons. You got Jehovah's Witnesses. You got Catholics. You got Orthodox. You got Pentecostals. You know, oh, it's just too much. I just, I just, I give up. Well, then you miss out and you go to hell. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And you know what? It's not hard at all because everyone that asketh receiveth and everyone that seeketh findeth and to everyone that knocketh it shall be opened. Amen. Every single one. Anybody who truly wants to know the truth in this world will find the truth. Anyone. There's nobody in this world who just with a sincere heart from the bottom of their heart just wants to know the truth and they cry out to God, God, show me the truth. I just want to know the truth. And they're actually sincere and they actually mean that. And it's like, oh, sorry, you idiot. Couldn't figure it out. Too complicated for you. No, no, no. If you seek, you'll find. It's not complicated at all. Everybody acts like there's just so many religions in the world. There's not even that many religions in the world. If you break them into their categories, there's pretty much like five major religions in the world. It's really not that complicated, right? I mean, there's pretty much like Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, and paganism, right? I mean, those are the big major religions. I mean, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, paganism. And if you count atheism, we'll throw that in as a number six. I mean, those are the big religions. Is it really that overwhelmingly complicated, especially not when you can kind of group Buddhism and Hinduism into the same category. They're both just kind of a reincarnation, Eastern, death-worshipping religion, okay? Then you can even kind of group Islam with Christianity that Islam is a perversion of Christianity. It's a perverted form of Christianity. It's a guy who came along and said, oh, well, Jesus is not the Son of God. He's just a prophet, and I'm a better prophet, and it's a spin-off, right? right? And it's pretty easy to see through that stupidity. I mean, is anybody here struggling with whether Muhammad was really a prophet of God? The guy's a pedophile. Yeah. Of course, you're not. That's, apparently it's illegal to say that in the United Kingdom, according to that document that's pinned over there to the wall. I'm banned from the United Kingdom for saying that he's a false prophet. It's right over there. You can go see for yourself. Official document that I received in the mail from the you know, United States Embassy from the United Kingdom. Uh, but, but here's the thing about that is that, you know, once you realize that Mohammed's a pervert false prophet, once you easily see through the, the junk of Buddhism and Hinduism, I mean, that's not really that hard to rule those out, folks. And then you're like, okay, Christianity. Then you look at Christianity. It's pretty easy to figure out who actually follows the Bible yeah. and who's just got a bunch of hocus pocus. Yeah. and walking around the platform emptying out a dust buster and putting on a bunch of weird garments and funny hats and walking around with big golden canes and, and all this craziness. And, uh, you know, look, it's not that hard to figure out, folks. People who want to go to a church that believes the Bible are going to end up in a Baptist church, period. It's where they're going to end up. They're going to see through the glim glam televangelists. Eventually, they're going to see through. I mean, look, it's not that complicated. But the devil is there to deceive the people who are too lazy or don't care or they're just wicked and they don't want to know the truth. He's ready to welcome them into his perverted sanctuaries. Yeah. And God allows it to be so. So let me just close.